guys out there, welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Today, as it's my good friend and fellow vlog star, Ryan Stanard's Crazy Life's one year anniversary of his channel, which really has been a madness, even though that's not my merch, or his merch even. We wanted to talk about the channel that launched Ryan's career, and also mine on YouTube, and that is, of course, Ryan and Nasha Vlogs. So, because people keep asking me and Ryan, why did that channel end so suddenly that it did? Three months ago, the channel ended. Now, I'm going to react first to his nine minute and 22 minute, uh, nine minutes and 22 second video called The End. It's, it's iconic that it, the final video is filmed in the room that started it all. So, enjoy. Let's go. Right. How's it going, guys? Welcome. Now, it's been about a week and a half since I last uploaded. And I'm sorry to take this too long. No. In two days' time, it will mark three years since my first video was uploaded. And I just think of myself. Just think of myself right now, girl. Jesus. Can I just say, when this video went out, this was a month and ten days after my three year anniversary. So at this point, I had. I was going to say I had just surpassed. Uh, three year, year mark before buying the national vlogs but I can't say that because I joined in Jan 2019 and this channel was created in December 16 so yeah it's a long long time years over 1400 videos over 1000 videos yeah this is where Ryan, and I'll admit myself, have had criticism in the past, is that we upload way too much videos for the sake of trying to get views. And I'll admit, I've tr I've, this is now the second time in my three year career where I've had to uh, back off on how much I upload. If you remember, there's been two occasions where I had loads of videos just uh, loads of videos just got deleted. This is due to the criticism of I'm uploading content that no one even wants to watch. And Ryan did the same thing, and he still does now. And I think he should take the advice that you to be consistent doesn't mean to upload every like maybe five, six videos a day. I am here to inform you guys that I can see the channel for free. But this will be the final video. Now, this is the thing that really annoys me about um, Ryan and Nasha Vlogs ending is that me and Ryan, when we started this channel, we agreed that it would be a, if it was to end, if we wanted it to end the channel, we would both make a joint decision. We, in this case, did not make a, a joint decision on this channel being ending, uh, being terminated on our part. It was a complete decision by Ryan because at the time, and even now, he still thinks he's a hell of a lot bigger than me. And he, he personally thinks that, yes, I feature on this channel, but he can't, so I don't get the final say, yet my name is in the title of a lot of his videos on about 50% of his videos and as well as the channel itself. So people expect me to say something as well. 
is the end. I'll give it a, a good think about. One of the reasons why he ended it is um, because what he used to film on was a pretty much a crappy iPad and the quality was bad. It always was straight from the start. And that was the criticism he was getting is that he was filming on something so crap that his quality, the quality of his videos weren't at what they should have been. Time. It's time. I'm I'm getting into my adult years now. He thinks he's an adult turning 16. You're not. You're still a teenager. You're a teenager until you're 18. And he still argues with me about that even now. You're still a teenager, mate. You're still a child. Right. Literally, in seven months' time, I'm going to turn 17. In a year and seven months' time, I'm going to turn 18. You know, a lot of stuff in the past month has um, changed um, my life and my sort of character. And I just, I can't carry on doing this channel. One of the reasons as well why you said that is because he, is the videos on there were cringe. Uh, that is the best way to describe pretty much almost every video on Ryan and Asher Vlogs is cringe-worthy. It is. It is. It's hard. Um, it is hard to consistently upload con Really? Yet you upload like 10 to maybe sometimes even up to 10 videos most of the time. And you still do it now on Ryan Stanlock's Great to Life but you've been decreased it to like three or four videos a day. Depends on YouTube because, you know, anyone can be a YouTuber, you just have to make the right content, you have to then pick up the... He, he thinks he knows what he's talking about, it don't. This is what I say, yes, anyone can be a YouTuber, but you have to have thick skin to do it. By that I mean you... If you want to start YouTube and you can't take criticism or even the lightest bit of feedback, then you shouldn't be doing YouTube. Only do YouTube if you can handle it. And I should know, I've been doing this now over three years and I've come to learn about that now. But it took me about a year to a year and a half to get that thick skin sense. The camera, press the red button and go for it. And you know, I wanted to try that three years ago, and I'd say I'm sort of semi, semi successful. And to be honest, yeah, I wanted to see this channel go a bit further than it has, but as does everyone. Ryan wanted to see Ryan and Asher Vlogs be monetized. That is what he wanted. He wanted to see it get monetized, but. Let's be honest, I don't think a lot of the videos on there would have got monetized just due to the swearing. I think out of the 100% of his videos, I reckon 20 to 40% might have got monetized. You can't always get a million subscribers. You can't always get one million views on the channel. You've just got to accept what you earn on YouTube. Which in your case, and my case, is nothing. All we earn is the reputation of being cringe. Never set goals on YouTube. Never set up goals. Right, at the time, Sloffy Vlogs and myself had said that. So he was just copying what other people had said. To hit a milestone on YouTube. Because honestly, it will break you apart when you don't hit that milestone. And I, I, I literally, I, <laughs> I literally, I thought that we would have hit 100,000 video views a lot sooner than now, but to be honest, you know, we're, we're there, we, we are on it. 
and uh, well, you know, as I've mentioned in another video, is um, Ryan did fake part of his subscriber gain. Uh, he faked uh, the growth between 90 and 100 subscribers by using uh, fake accounts. Be honest with you guys. I have, I had feelings to stop the channel in the middle of November. And I said to myself... You mean back? It was very much when I was back on the grind, as we call it on YouTube. I was back on my uh, grinding sort of... Fucking hell, it sounds so wrong. But, yeah, I was starting to get uh, views back and I, my views were increasing quite a lot. And this was back when the whole Ryan versus Nasha fight saga was happening, which was his idea as a way of getting exposure, as in getting more views and subscribers. I literally, I was laying in bed and I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna smash my iPad, I'm gonna smash it with... And he did, because people didn't like seeing the end of Ryan and Asher vlogs. The hammer. And he also got into an argument with his mum, I think, and he lost his shit. Oh, I cannot upload on Ryan and Rashid Rock again. Um, but I didn't. I thought, let's continue into 2020 and see how that year goes. And a lot of bad stuff, and a lot of bad stuff has already happened this year. In the two months, we've literally we've got the coronavirus, which is absolutely devastating. You know, yeah, there's been three cases of it in the UK, but I think this is the one thing me and Ryan both agree on is that we couldn't. I don't think even anyone in the in the UK could have predicted how bad the coronavirus situation got out of hand. And it really did, and it, me and Ryan did say back in February that it probably wouldn't affect YouTubers like ourselves. But look at us now, in lockdown, only just easing after over two months. You've got to think, fucking China. Jesus. I would give you my opinion on China and the coronavirus, but I think... The news speaks for itself on that. Christ, I'm not even kidding you. It's ridiculous. Look, he can't even get his facts out. That's the funny thing. But, this is it. I think I've done well. I think I. Have you realised he mentions himself more than me? Even though I'm. The one who helped him a lot on the channel. I think I've done well, personally. I think I've done well. You know, if I've got only two people who have seen this channel go from zero subscribers to 500 and 40. I don't even know what I'm on. And obviously Ken, the person who's been helping me through. Okay, so we're going to count out for how long the guy who's been in 50% of your videos, 50 to 65%, and he's helped you a lot for everything. See how, see how long I'm mentioned for, if I was really that important. So far, I've been mentioned for two two seconds. This journey, but there's a there's a guy called DJ Asby. Five seconds. I'm mentioned for five seconds. Which? Good God, he came onto the channel in July 2017, and he stuck through. So 
here you guys have seen me from the age of 13 through to nearly 17. And no, if you want to see my journey go so further, please go on to Ryan's channel of Crazy Love. You can tell upload. You can tell this is just all put on and it's a shameless plug of his Ali Law one of a YouTube channel. I'll never tell you one thing. I will upload better quality videos. I will upload better content. Not really, are you? It's still madnesses and vlogs, ain't it? No, pretty much what he's done is he's what pretty much all that Ryan Stanley's crazy life is is pretty much a B Tech version of Ali Law and Ali Law's life put together. I just cannot believe what I'm about to say. You can believe it because you've made this video. You wouldn't make this video if you didn't have the intention of ending it. Rest in peace, Ryan and Ashley Law. December 19th, 2016 to February 9th, 2020. It's been a great journey, guys. I'm so grateful. I really am. I really, I really am. So, at 5.13pm on Sunday the 9th of February 2020, I am naming this channel to the center. This is it. Literally, you can still be it. So I'm going to get all my pictures that I've taken from tonight, download them so I can show them, and then this device is getting a hammer. You see? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but as I said earlier, you want to stick with me on my journey. Another shameless plug. Now, this is a funny thing. The reason why, let me tell you something. Ryan and Asher Blocks could have continued after May, uh, no, sorry, February 9th. I'll tell you why. Because... I had happily said to Ryan that I would take over the channel and I would keep it going after like this video went out because he didn't destroy the iPad until a couple of days after. So I happily said to him that I would take over the channel if he were to give me the login details. But of course, typical him, he forgets the password. And everything, and it's easy to get your password back. And that is why Ryan and Asher Vlogs ended. Because Ryan didn't want anyone else to mainly take over. I think it was also a case of embarrassment from the cringe. And also because Ryan had picked him up to be. Uh, big himself up as professional and famous. Like, he, he he always talks to me about his fans that have come and seen him. Yeah, all his fans are chads. And there's one video on Brian and Asher Vlogs that proves this. That proves that the channel quite literally is just a joke. As of um, May 15th, 2020, it's on 570 subscribers. I just want to make this clear, guys. Please. And I think Ryan will agree with me as well. Please stop um, subscribing to the channel. And also, please stop asking us if it's going to come back. As I've said to you in this video, I've said I would have happily taken it over if Ryan had given me the login details. 
but he didn't. Simple. He didn't want, because if anything, I could have made the channel a hell of a lot better and I could have done things to the channel that would have made it blow up in success. One of the things, as you can see, as I'm going through here, is you can see about Ryan's um, videos, thumbnails. Some of his thumbnails worked, but a lot of them were him pulling stupid faces or doing stupid things. Now, a lot of my old thumbnails are like that, but now and since like 2018, I've always made my own thumbnails. The longest I've spent on a thumbnail is an hour and a half working on one thumbnail. Look, as you can see, also like when he's done parkour content, that is just taking the piss out of all of us. Ice cream band compilation, he used to have another channel called, I um, can't remember what it was called actually, but he used to have a channel. Um, he's done videos on farts, which is stupid. Now there's one video, there's a couple of videos I don't like, and it's this one here. I had an autism meltdown, where he took taken the piss out of autism. He had, and it's a video which I think shouldn't be up. I admit I have autism myself, but I don't do a video where the intro, you can see him start on the camera and then go, ah! like that, stop mate, please. You make yourself look like a complete and utter dickhead and an unsensitive person. One of the greatest parts of Ryan and Asher Vlogs was the daily vlogs section for many years. Here we go. This video, let me make clear. It's a video where Ryan's mentality on YouTube changed. It changed from being an honest YouTuber to a big headed twat. If that is the best way to put it, a big headed twat. This is when Brian and Asher vlogs changed from being no, a bit real on to fake. Fans. Welcome back to another video. Now, today is October the 5th, and I'm here with some fans. Yeah! Have you noticed they're all filming because it's strange? I love you. I love you. I love you. Ryan, Ryan. Subscribe to Ryan. So that half of them are off their fucking head. You know? It's all fake. Yeah. And this is something I've been told, and I think Ryan knows this as well, is that people like them are only interested when there's cameras around. They want their 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so it's just going to be a quick one, obviously, because I asked if they wanted to, um, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, try, try keep it PG, because this, oh, PG still, yeah, yeah PG, Ryan. yeah. Oh, All right, so thanks for watching, guys, um, leave a like and subscribe. Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Suck your mum. They really do not care. And Ryan really thought those are those fans. Hey guys, yeah, in a bit, bro. Yep, safe, safe. In a bit, bro. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's why I do YouTube. Because no, you don't. No, no, no. I am not going to get into a rant about this. 
I am not going to get around into this. I am not going to get into, into an argument about this. Anyway, as I was saying, guys, that is why Ryan and Asher Vlogs ended. Because Ryan, I don't know, he ended it because he wanted to become famous again. And as you can see on his new channel, Ryan and uh, sorry, Ryan Stanley Spade Live. One year on, he's, I'll be honest, not real anymore. There's two different types of Ryan. Ryan off camera is cool, calm and collected. And he's down to earth. But Ryan on camera is fake, unfunny, racist, sexist, and yeah, and he's a big headed twat, and he knows this. And he's fake. He does not, and he is an Ali look. He, he is. He is and always will be an Ali Law wannabe. Simple. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm roasting Ryan, but it's the truth. You guys wanted a proper reason why Ryan and Asher Vlogs ended and won't ever come back. This is the reason why. So please, as I've said, stop subscribing to Ryan and Asher Vlogs and please subscribe to both of our solo channels so you can support us. That is Ryan's solo channel, Ryan Stan Loves Grades Life, currently on 334 subscribers. And you can also subscribe. And please also subscribe, of course, if you're new here to my own channel, Ryan Stanard, uh, no, sorry, Nasha Fox, where we are currently on 349 subscribers. So, once again, thank you for watching this video. Also, go check out my podcast called Reckless Comedy. You can find us on loads and loads of platforms. You can find the podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Anchor.fm. And I'm trying to think what else. And soundtrack. So go listen to it. Got a new episode coming out soon. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlog. Stay safe.